Fun. I'm gonna tell you, I'm with them right now. Yeah, they're We're all running the, the maxes yeah, are pushing the up to floor. the A point. The A point is contested. They're they're completely wiping out of all the Vanu. The Vanu is trying to hold as much as they possibly can. They're getting pushed off the bridge and they're down at the bottom. Oh, they're another Sundra thing crushing it. But that's not really gonna help them. They're getting completely killed as soon as they spawn. There's like oh. 30 maxes at the A point. They completely resecured that. Oh my god. It was gosh. another big push. I mean, they did really good to fend off the first push. And then they could have pushed in the SU, but I kind of like how they stayed defensive and whatnot. And then they held off the second push, but when they started losing vehicles, I don't know if they were on timers or if they were on resource lock, but ugh, that was close. Yeah. That's about as close the, as we've the seen in Thunder loss for them. They didn't have any engineers really repairing those, and I think that that really broke their line of defense. During this time, Elam Mountain Pops was, was under was a huge balance fight actually happening. Uh, well, MPS. actually, they're attacking the tech plant now, so this could be different. The tech plant's now under contention. But the Vanu have a huge air force here at Ellie still. Hallelujah, I'm gonna have to increase your volume, mate. You're very quiet. Yeah, um, there's a quite a few reports coming from being PM'd saying they need to be turned up. Say hello now. And meanwhile, the Vanu weren't hey, able to better? take South Bank or Frozen Reservoir either. Well, let's go check out what's going on at ISA. Yeah, yeah it's another five and a half minute cap, but this is a fundamentally different base. You can still pull vehicles. The vehicle terms are hacked. They are pulling vehicles again, possibly a different group of numbers to see if they can get reinforcements. The guns, rightly so, are uh, all Furies, although you could theoretically go with a Bulldog because it has a larger splash radius. Um, Two vehicles, I don't think it's enough. The fact is, I think they need a really strong presence if they want to force They have a couple Sunders. Um... But the NC are already pushing it, pushing from the base. I mean, and they have the oh, benefit the of, of having spawns. Yeah, yep. they just need to redeploy and they can just spawn in. There's, mm -hmm. there's, there's barely enough uh, Vanu forces. Yeah, they're full. They're rushing in with a full force right now. Let's see how this goes. And Vanu doesn't have any defense really. They have what like? They've got no one on the stairs. The capture point's already going to be overrun. I think this is just Cobalt a single we're outfit. To, uh, Cobalt were expected to come from the tunnels. They've got dual. Uh, Fury Sunday sitting in the vehicle bay yeah. just for teleport Sundays, but the NC have just decided to walk into the point. Well, we've got engineer turrets kind of defending it, but the problem is that the numbers now for the NC are, I think they're just too high. I mean, if we look at the minimap, 50 50. Both of the engineer turrets are facing only one direction, so. It says 50 50, they get so I'm wondering where the VS forces are. They're not on the balcony anymore. I mean, I, they're on the capture point, so they're just trying to defend the capture point hardcore now. And they are actually suppressing the um, uh, the NC force that was coming up the staircase to the side. They're but the NC pendant. force is now surrounding that A point. Well. Wow. Yeah, okay, I can see them coming up. Um, uh, yeah, they're pushing in now. That one yeah, they're totally nice. pushing in now. They just... Yeah, I'm with you. Like, it's, it's like th it they're says they're even to top, but I don't see that many... Banner. It's all contention on the capture point. Uh, NC Max trying to flank around the engineer turrets. It's, oh, that's it. Same over. Although there are some Vanu forces behind the capture point on the other side. Not uh, that many, though. But I'm wondering where the rest of them are. Small scale at the moment. It's yeah. still small scale fighting. Oh, they're pushing back on the other side. There's more contesting going on at the A point. Now it's like half Banu is on one side of the A point and half, half NC on, on the other, other. yeah. Awesome. And the light assaults are just kind of jumping up, picking each other off, a little kind of shot, maybe throwing some C4, some grenades. I tell you what, the sort of recap NC4 the force is. The Banu just... is victoring though. They're, they're, they are able to secure this area. Oh, you're right, Ellie Amp Station, they've re attacked at 2 minutes, at two minutes there, and 50. Uh, um, 56%. I think we're going to have to go there in a few seconds. Uh, VS well, you disguise. can watch the tech plan. I'll head on over that way. Okay. VS have the skies. They, there's still NC tank mines everywhere, but there is large numbers of uh, VS. VS force, they're actually contesting both bases now. So if you're NC, where do you go? Do you go to the early amp station because that's closer? Do you have to pull all your reinforcements to defend the amp station? Then the tech plant's going to be free because that's 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, so the VS do hold the A point. They have air domination. They're completely surrounding the spawns. They're not. They're not letting oh, them out. Oh, there's a big the push coming in from the the, the uh, tunnels now at the tech. Oh yeah, I see back. it. 
And there's no men. defense on the A point at LA. And there's no. De there's, the thing is. Yeah, I mean, there's a very little amount. And they've comparison. lost the balcony, so the NC have decided take the balcony first, fire down on the VS. They're trying to go secure that. Okay, they're trying to make sure that they get this uh, gen down. But they have—they don't have as much defense as they need. I think they're going to be able to resecure this. Massive push. Their maxes are rushing, and their engineers are resecuring. The Sally Am station. They're slowly, about? yeah, they're slowly pushing forward from Ali Am station. They have a bunch of smoke. Uh, Vanu are trying to throw rockets down there and kill as many uh, maxes as they possibly can, but they're not going to be able to do much here. There's like very little defense. Okay, okay, and he's now they're now they're gonna be starting wow. to the A point here shortly. A minute and uh, ten though. Trying to bring in some, some, oh, oh so they're many mines blowing them up. But they just got completely blown up by We've mines. seen this before. Last minute absolute desperate saves where everyone spawns in are, charges. They completely secured the SEU, so now they're making their Oh check the reinforcements the coming in from the north for the Vanu because the shields are down. That's huge numbers. Now the shields are up, so they've just been blocked out. But uh, that shield for coming up just saved the NC push as the shields. Yeah, uh, because all those shot. reinforcements are on the outside, cut off. The VS reinforcements, sorry. Now the NC, 40 seconds. They're coming up from the SCU generator. They are underground. The last Vanu vehicle. He's, he's Fury's in the wrong place. He can't be seen. He's going to get blown off. Blown up. Blown, <laughs> blown up. Sorry. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Good balcony killing by the VS. 25 seconds! Looks like all the NC forces that are running around the staircase to try and get up to the capture point are being picked off. I think they oh pulled this one gosh, off for once. We're able to hold 15 this. seconds what to go! Happened? NC's got a couple more soldiers that are coming in. The Vanu just dropped There's too many the maxes. There's just too, too many infantry. Behind. Two, one. We're making another rush right now. Wow, oh no way. Goodness. Now. What is going Bond on at the tech plant? And the tech, tech plant is tech still plan. going as well! They could flip this around and then get go from uh, 4 to 2 to, again, 4 to 2, but in the reverse fashion. That's a huge, huge benefit for the Vanu Sovereignty because they have all of this extra territory giving them buffers, so LEM Station is going to be theirs for quite a long time. Although there's a fight at the Octagon, which is about to cut the... Uh... Uh, well, what really right matters now. is Isa Tech Plan. They still have this capture point because the NC probably didn't know where to go to defend. 40 seconds, although the point is flipping now. Oh. A lot of NC and VS dead on the capture point. It looks like. Oh, I tell you what, it looks like the NC's probably re secured this, but it was close. Oh, they're going to come back and re secure that. But the thing sure. is, all the forces that are at the amp station for VS, right? Because because the way the timer works, even if they hold this point for like a minute or two, it still makes it a three minute cap point, you know, if the VS come here in force. And we could see that. We could see them take that that route and just go there. Or what they could do is, like you said, well, I, I'm seeing them right now. They have this huge, massive, massive air force that's coming from the, from the southern warp gate on Esamir, and they're pushing onto ice attack plant. I think they're going to go for the ice attack plant. But what they could have done also is gone over to Anvari and started pushing that direction, which it seems like the NC are already at Jaeger Crossing as well. I mean, I'm beginning to think that the NC are probably hurting for uh, resources. I mean, if we have a look at the map, there's really not that much on Indar. There's nothing on Amrish, and Indar mm -hmm. is very limited. So even continent hopping to try and get resources is going to hurt you. And because VS has most of the map, um, or territory-wise, uh, you know, compared to what the NC has, uh, I think it's hurting them. Yeah, and those facilities are all isolated, so really... They're not giving. He's only getting 30 aerospace, 75 mech, and 100 infantry. So it's wow. not a whole lot, especially in the air. So they can market. still contend with maxes, but that's about it. Yeah, but they they can't pull air. Um, I mean, at least they can't sustain SCU it. Wow, they really. And the Vanu have been able to continue it. to keep and maintain that air presence that they've had throughout the whole entire fight, which has really been beneficial. Maggie, for them, check out they the um, balcony isotech plant. Oh, okay. Is it is it a beautiful? But site? they're moving off now. But the fact is, oh, they've got yeah. engineer turrets to the left, engineer <laughs> turrets to the right. <laughs> that's awesome. They're and expecting they're manned, it too, so that's great. Yeah, yeah, they're totally thinking. They, oh yeah. my gosh, all these NGs. And you know what's great about all these NGs is that there's so much support for all these maxes that they have. So if they, oh man, this is intense. 
And we've seen this a lot on, on Community Clash as well. If taking this upper balcony is so beneficial for this A-point because you really don't need someone on the A-point per se if you can see the whole entire area and yeah. dominate them from a long distance. Well, outside, we've also seen people ground. use range as well. Ooh, the high ground, at, yeah. Oh, the SU generators just got killed off with two seconds, one second. Oh, now this is interesting because the Air Force is dominating at the base, but I figured it wouldn't matter because they're inside the base, but the SU generator for ISA is destroyed. There'll be no respawns, and with all this Air Force, any kind of um, deployed vehicle, Sunder or whatnot, will get killed off, and there's no deploy field, so they can't have Sunders inside the base. Oh, that always changes, so I could be wrong there, but the simple fact <laughs> is, the spawns for the new conglomerate have been throttled, and air control and is And meanwhile, the, the Venu Sovereignty have a ton of Sunderers set up, they have tons of spawns, they are prepared for this battle, and uh, what all they need, all that they need to do now is make a massive push for that A-point. But they're going to be met with that giant defense force that the NC have set up. Three minute cap for Anvari Frozen as well, and then they'll be on Biolab's doorstep. That's true, they'll also be on the Anvari Biolab, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're re-securing the Octagon as well. either send those guys to Envari to help out with that fight, or maybe even just make sure that they get Ice Attack plan and they have that forward front. So what do you all think the NC could do to be fighting back here instead of just being on the defensive? I think they should be on the defensive. I think they should they should keep... I mean, if they keep the defense at Ice Attack plant and... Still 3 for 3. Because they need to keep that point, minutes. yeah. Because they've got 48 minutes, I mean, they have to hold this point simply because the longer they hold this point, at least for the next 2 minutes and 45 seconds, you know, they safeguard a long 6-7 minute cap. Um, what they need to be doing is making a push for not am station, I think. Um, they, they, it's a close spawn for them, it's a close base for them, They'll be e it'll be easy for them to offend and uh, bases, then though. defend it. They need to save Grey Heron and then they have to take not am station, but I agree That's with you entirely. True. It is but I mean, close I, space. when you look at the retrospect of everything, they definitely need to hold Anvari. They need to keep their defense and ice attack plant. But if they're going to make any offensive push, is, I I would say not Amp Station. Just but because to take no Amp Station, not Amp Station. That's that's one of I say old. That's that's the single capture. It's hard because Amp, Amp Stations are it's hard. It's super yeah. hard. They may just want to actually push on Freyer because that same distance, but it's a three cap point, and if in, and that way they can spread the numbers out. The problem is Actually, more have yeah. air control. With Freya, Freya but that's would also only if they keep SMU resources. munitions, because I think they might be losing SMU munitions soon. That's true. Soon. And then Freya that would, would cut them off, off and they won't have that. So, But it looks like they're trying to take Aurora Material Lab. They might be able to push up to Freya Geo. Yeah, you're right. This might actually be good for them. So if they get Aurora, they're able to push onto Geothermal and then get Freya. But I don't know. I think that they're going to be met well, with this huge armor column once the Vanu are able to take Ice um, Attack. That from a resources point of view, although we're still waiting for the resources revamp, here it's very important because Freyr gives 40 air resources, uh, whereas you get only um, mechanized air resources for no amp station. So I'm not seeing much NC air, and I wonder if that's due to resources. And yeah, I was curious about that too. The whole entire right battle, we the whole entire battle, we've just seen a ton of air from Vanu and not very uh, much from the NC so at all. They've tried to bring in some, but the Vanu just obliterate them. I see capture points under heavy contention. There's a good squad of uh, VS forces on the point. Uh, the NC, because they have no spawn, are just slowly being chipped away. It looks like the balcony is uh, no longer manned, and they're trying to resecure the capture point again. Uh, and the point is in uh, Vanu hands, even though there's an NC max. Four minutes and 40 seconds now for the Vanu to take this base. They've got air control, they've got spawn control. What do you do as NC? Do you, because do you even have the resources to get a galaxy to fly your guys in? I mean, they're fair amp stations right in the middle. Even Honestly, if they that, don't, that would... even if they don't reach the amp station, fighting alone at any air hex is going to be beneficial for the NC because just the experience gain that brings resources for the hex you're fighting in will refill their air and allow them to at least fight back against yeah. the cobalt superiority. I wonder well, if this is intentional or not, but. Now. Territory-wise, NC has practically none. They're, they're still isolated at the biolab, and they're still isolated at the tech plant. So, you know, if even though they have the tech plant, realistically speaking, they can only pull armor at the tech plant, which they are no longer in control of. Yeah. I'm wondering if they're going to make a huge defense push onto wow. Ice Attack because they need to keep... The Check the Vanu Force on the balcony and the rear vehicle bay. It's just a <laughs> huge right. number. Still on the minimap, at least. Max's infantry. Although the vehicle terminal, one of the vehicle terminals is actually active. They could actually pull vehicles if they wanted to. 
Uh, they're starting to get a foothold, the NC and ISA. And they can see them on the minimap. They're actually beginning to uh, group up underneath. I wonder if I can go down there. Nope. That didn't work very well. <laughs> yeah, the NC are reacting to the VS. <laughs> oh, my camera's spazzing it. Sorry, guys. I'm waiting for this home. massive push that's coming. I see a ton of maxes. They're gonna have a huge max crash incoming. I cannot wait for this. Where are they? Okay, they're pushing in through the shields. On the jump pads, and okay, now they're going up the balcony. The maxes are trying to take the balcony. They're getting rocketed from all directions, and the Vanu forces are on the balcony, rocketing them from above and throwing C4 on their heads. Only one max left alive on the center. Oh gosh, he just got picked off. The problem is the maxes don't have any backup either. There's not enough infantry. But there's yeah. So many Vanu forces, and it wasn't timed well because now there's a push coming up on the other jump pad. But if they had gone at the same time, that might have worked. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Like, first of all, they had. A crap ton of maxes, not a lot of support, and that's a lot of resources for them too. They just used a ton of resources on that. They weren't all working together. They didn't rush one location, and I think that they could have gone all in those all different directions, but they needed to be synced up as far as time, and they would just now, here's weren't. an interesting thing. Um, is the Vanu Air Force gone? Because I see now a lot of NC armor to the south of the base. Uh, they were gone before there. That was cool. Oh, we see the yeah, anti-air flak and whatnot. Uh, we, yeah, we do see um, Sundra. And I think we found, yep, we found the new conglomerate's uh, spawn sunder, which is to the south of the double doors. So, in theory, if they want to, they can pull maxes and infantry in very large numbers because they do have a spawn mm. and a tech plant. One minute I'm wondering why the Vanu decided to abandon that air dominance that they had. Maybe they'll bring them back, but they definitely need to bring them back in. Well, there's a lot and of flak and there's, there's a lot ton... of lock on. Yeah, there's like seven, seven. These yeah, sky guards. Sky guards. Yeah, and if you and look at have, the spawn building, there's also burster max coming. and heavy assaults with lock guy ground lock ons. Oh my goodness. They, I can't believe they let them set up defense like that outside. The thing is, they're at their old spawn building, and even though it's exposed, um, it's, there's kind of a lot of kind of cover, so it's hard to pick off, and then because they're in between the buildings, it just means that the anti air isn't really going to kill any of the air unless the air is careless, but at the same time, the air is not going to get an angle on the ground to pick it off. The problem is, this is a lot of, um, of heavies on the ISA tech balcony. Just couple right. of them shoot, couple of them run back. It really. It oh, they got the like capture point. The I can't believe I, I missed that. To be on that point. They've respawned in. They pushed in. Apologies for missing that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on the capture point. They're still point, making a huge push. They're taking. They're trying to take up the balcony. Capture point, but it's the balcony that's left for the new uh, VS. Is there any spawns for the VS now? Oh my gosh. I don't see any reinforcements. I don't think there is. I'm surprised. What were they, they had thinking? that base. What was yeah, going on? What were they thinking? It's because they lost all that air dominance. Like all of that. Oh my gosh. Even if you had the reverse side, you would have been fine. That tends to happen. And the vehicle pad. Place. Oh, it's just been fixed. So it probably was dead. Um, it's hard to say whether or not they had the vehicle pad at the time, but they could have gate diffused in the back side of the tech plant. Oh my goodness. I'm just in. Shock. <laughs> means that I'm fairly certain. Does that mean it's still 3 3 on base count now? Yeah, still 3 3. Well, that's that's huge. Um, so that means the, you know, the NC forces are holding in, and we have 41 minutes left of this game. There's uh, another familiar scene up top in the north. Uh, same units trudging down to Frere through from Andy. Aurora? Yep. Small. A small little skirmish fight. See that? New conglomerate has the capture point. It is an NC base, yes. No, it's a Vanu yep. base. It's a Vanu base. But the NC are taking it. And it's 15 seconds. Not enough. Not enough defense Good. the Vanu That's, you to know, keep it from happening. Yeah, you can see it's one outfit holding the stairs, holding large stairs. It doesn't look like there's any real concerted push by the Vanu Again, defenders. Again, it's w -N WMNC. And they're the ones that are always... They're the ones that are always doing this sort of thing. Basically, we've, we've seen them in the north, so they've probably been given the orders to fight in the north. Push yeah, they seem air. to be the guerrilla fighters, in my mind. They're always at, by themselves around here, at an, an impossible odds. But, but they're holding their own, for sure. 
so in the NC face. were the NC were able to kind of cut the Vanu off here from some of their resources. So this will be man. Yeah, we they see that. they did have they did have Actually, some guys that's quite that they big. sent over to Aurora Material Labs, but they just didn't get there in time. <laughs> but it looks like they're trying to. It's actually quite significant because the cutting off actually cuts a Frey ramp station itself with just 40 resources on all its subject and adjacent buildings. However, they can resupply it and they are going to because they're taking um, Essimir Munitions Corp. They've got two of the three capture points, it's got 45 seconds to go, although the NC are absolutely just warping all over the place trying to get all the different points. 20 not... seconds left on Anvari Frozen Reservoir, a couple of NC are walking into point, but there's dots everywhere, but yes, know exactly what's coming and exactly where they're coming from. There's one lone max in the cap point building, but it's only 9 seconds left, they've got a couple of infantry coming in, but they don't seem like they're going to make it on point, they're just being held off at the last minute, there's 4 seconds left on the cap, max is still clearing it, and the NC weren't able to get enough bodies from the point. The VS have the small beacon still up, the NC still haven't taken it out, but the base has flipped to the VS. They've now got adjacency up on Mani Biolab, sorry, Anvari Biolab, but there is already maxes for the, VS, uh, for the NC sitting defending Anvari Biolab, waiting for a push. Yeah, the Vanu are trying push. to send um, a lot more guys over to SMU Munitions. It looks like they're going to try to secure that a little bit more. Um... Anvari Barracks is flipping exactly the same time as well. There's two seconds left on Anvari Barracks for the VS. And they've now got double lanes into Anvari Bio. Yep, we've seen that this, now. Two lanes, you're they're right. They're already on the point. VS are on the point. In but they're Anvari heavily Bio. outnumbered, though. That's all it's going to do is to prevent backhacking, though. It makes a huge difference not getting that backhack, though. It's it does, and I to... suppose it might take numbers away from SM Munitions Corp, which has been. Um, had reinforcements and is now reflipping, uh, and this will uh, reconnect Freyr Amp Station. That's why it's significant, uh, giving fresh air resources. Three capture points now in the hands of the uh, VS. I wonder what the NC defenders have gone. It doesn't look like there's enough of them. Yeah, and Venus is also making some more pushes onto um, Aurora Material Lab. They just resecured their their base, and they're able to kind of. Get rid of all the spawns in the area. So we'll see what happens here. Looks like the point is flipping and they're gonna try to hold this, but it doesn't look like they're dedicating too many guys on it. Looks like they're moving they're moving all their forces back to Esamir. Or Isa, sorry. Hmm. It <laughs> of looks <course> like <laughs> Yeah. It looks like um I don't see how the NC can stop Esamir Munitions Corp from being taken. The VS force has pushed up um, to the NC spawn room. They've got air forces flying around, preventing them from getting to the air pass to the north. Oh, that's a hero heavy trying to make something happen. Oh, he's totally isolated. The base is flipped, and he's just got bombed by lava pods after the fight. Oh, look at the map now. It's all of a sudden from being disconnected to the north. It's now being reconnected. So they've got all that air resources and you know uh, from the north and Frey Ramp station reconnected. If you look at the map again, they've been pushed and squeezed back on Isotech Plant. They're being squeezed on Vari Biolab. It really is turning into um, just isolated uh, pockets of resistance. Yeah, and the Venue are being really good about trying to go back, defend some of these small bits and pieces because they know if you like look look at them, you're seeing oh, there's only a, a few guys here and a few guys there that NC are sending to try to make those little advances, and the Venue are just coming back and trying to push back. We on actually, those. have some nuclear air pushing. now. Over, so they um, back yeah, over Freer Geothermal Plant, we actually have air for the first time. I wonder if it's taken them this long to get enough resources, but they are here in presence, and this looks like a concerted push to win the game. They are trying to get Freer Geothermal. Oh, well, they're out number two to one, though. They're not going to get the capture point. Um, I think Vanu are going to bring in a ton of their air that's over at ISA to counter this. Well, I hope so. Then we'll see a massive air battle once once again. Is there's uh, ground flak for the Vanu forces to outnumber them on the air? So that was resources, and that's why. Um, that's true. It is the same team. Yep. Yeah. So it looks like Woodman is trying to take out all these turrets at. at um... Wait, what the heck is going on here? Well, the Scythes and the Reavers yeah. have spotted each other. They're kind of looking at each other at a standoff distance. The NC, I don't think they realize that they've got a whole bunch of uh, scythes coming in from above. Looks like too many of the scythes. Oh, and here they come. They're yeah. going to 
completely wiped out. A lot of the Reavers out. are still bombing the ground. They're not paying attention to what's going on above them. There's also a galaxy, a battle gal that's coming in. That looks red to me, but never mind. Yeah, there's TR. There's some TR guys, I think. There are fumblies at the moment. <laughs> okay. Fumbly. Yeah, are fumbly. Fumbly. Well, the fight is raging on the sky between the NC and the VS. It's hard to tell who's got the advantage, although I think just by I'm sheer numbers... I'm seeing mostly sides. Yeah. But if I'm you look on the ground, there's a lot of... Oh, but this, this is criminal now. If we, if we zoom down to the ground at... Oh, that's terrible. Look, if you look at Aurora, <laughs> am, at the ammo tower at Aurora, there's got to be six um, sky guards. Uh... Or, or maybe you know five and one defense. If you're those reavers, don't fight the size way up in the high. Get down to ground level. Fly yeah, around your you, sky use, guards. Yeah, use, use your them support. as a defense. For sure, let them be your support. Although, yeah, now the really sky guards are moving up to deal with the Vanu air. And Vanu is having to pull back a little bit. We've had two squads of Vanu also appear at uh, Ambari, and they did have control of two points, but the TR, the NC have. Put a couple of maxes in. We've made a couple of pushes to Alpha. Alpha's now been resecured. Which base is this? Uh, and okay, and the Vanu have a. They have a Sunder. They're getting rid of the enemy Sunder here at the moment, and they're going to try to. I think maybe go with heavy assault and bombard these Sky Guards that are like putting pressure on their air. They only have one Lightning up for support against them, and I think. Problem oh is, is that the Lightning's are too far pulling, back. They're pulling a flash. We have a flash Top here. Oh, he, did, he went down. And Bio Bio is now controlled. Alpha, Brother, and Charlie all by OVS. They've just dropped, dropped another squad in here. The 60% pop here. We're outnumbering them to nearly 2 to 1. Oh, wow. Okay, we're looking at that. Galaxy on the uh, um, Charlie air pad. Charlie should secured again by the NC. Alpha's done under contention. These points are constantly flipping. Yep, we've seen this here. We're on the balcony of A point. Uh, VS Max killing off the light salts on the roof that are trying to see for him. They have a point, fairly well defended, lots of heavies, a couple of three or four maxes. Being pushed by NC maxes on the staircase. I don't but see. There's 12 seconds left on the SCU. Gen. SCU gen. With the actual generator or the yeah, SCU itself? SCU gen. Uh, SCU shield or the SCU gen, shield generator, okay. Four seconds is down. SCU is vulnerable. Population numbers at Anvari, if we have a quick peek. Um, is in the favor of NC, but it doesn't really matter that much if the uh, VS force is organized enough to push on the SU generator. And I just wanted to give an update on geothermal. Um, Vanny were able to completely wipe out all of the NC that were on the A point, and oh. now they're resecuring. Wow, sorry, the, the um, there were two maxes defending the SU gen itself, um, and they were just looking really menacing, like kind of you know mechanized guards, and then they both blew up at the same time to one C four. That was really impressive. It was a friendly C four as well. A friendly C. Oh, oh no. wow, um, fracture side. There was two C four thrown in by the NC to help defend it. If there was a max push. And I don't know if it was either a grenade that set it off, but there was an infiltrator well, throwing in. The Vanu forces around. still have two capture points, and it doesn't look like the NC is mounting a credible, you know, counter push. I mean, they have Charlie, and they're trying to. Oh wait, no, I take that back. They just had a Max crash onto the SU generator itself. They're now starting to repair it while the Max is repairing their engineers. The same team that was defending or attacking to the north with the Reavers that we've seen, they're the guys now that have spawned in the WMNC. Uh, they have spawned into Anvari to, to safeguard it. This looks like a yeah. pretty good tight knit team. And what they did was really smart. They had their maxes with their shields pushing in the forward, and they had all of their support behind them as and well. And they're not as... stopping. It's just yeah, a continuous just ball going. of death. <laughs> ball of death, and they just keep moving forward while the infantry in the back go and resecure all the points. And they're not pushing now they're making their way across the bridge. Are you sure that's the same team? Because they're still up north. Well, they I see WNC tags, so... All of the points at the Biolab. Yeah. It's a clean secure. And that's and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why nobody loves to play the NC in Biolabs. Because, like, solution... Oh, man, the shotguns in the face. Oh, shotguns in the face, point-blank turning <laughs> corners, and then you don't stop. You just go in an endless circle. A, then B, then C, then A, then B, then C. <laughs> and it's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll go somewhere else. And they're walking around like this ball of death. It's just insane. You just see this huge group of Maxes rolling together with support coming behind them and the and medics pushed up to the know, rolling pad in now. and taking the points. It's, it's a risk insane. to come out to the air pad because um, 
banshees and bulldogs. Oh, that's a Drake, sorry, on there. Um, Gal, I thought it was firing on them, but it, I wouldn't come outside. But inside, definitely the, um, the NC forces are now safe. And for the NC, they need to hold this point because they, I mean, they don't have any area around in order to get a get the point back again because it could be another situation like Ellie Amp Station. I definitely think that the Vanu should attack this base in full force because to some extent, right? Because if they get this, there's a huge amount of buffer for them with territory. The yeah. same way that they had with Ellie. And it's gonna and then they can put that forward pressure on them in other places so that they can't get back there. Well right now the couple of Vanu stragglers are just firing in from the uh, the air pad, but if we have a look at the map briefly and have a look at the tactical situation, we can see that Ellie Amp mm -hmm. Station is really secure. No amp station is generally secure. There's a small scale fight. Test the no amp station. Too much hassle, too difficult, not gonna happen. So that's reasonably secure. Which means we only realistically have three main areas of contention going on. We have the fight at Freya Geothermal, mm -hmm. the lane between Freya Amp Station and Manny Biolab, which might become a com clash lane next season. We've got the fight that's going on at Anvari Biolab, and then we have the fight at Isotech Plant. That's three areas of contention among two groups of 192 people. It just sounds really hard to take the push, or to, to take a base. Yeah, and the Vanus seem like they're putting most of their forces on Anvari, and I, and I completely understand why. Well, if you're going to take a biolab, why push up to Mani when you're already at Anvari? A biolab's a biolab, right? Yeah, that's true. And, uh, and when it comes to Freyr, they obviously have a, re uh, a kind of a reactionary force that constantly goes to Geothermal mm -hmm. when they need to, just to save yep. it. As long as they keep them outside the amp station, that's fine. Yeah, they have this air crew that I think is fantastic. I've been watching them kind of run around the map. Uh, there's been some moments where they get caught in the wrong place, and then it takes them a long time to get back to where they need to go. But... Yeah, they just kind of run around and they go where, they, where they're where they needed and just secure the area. But yeah. it looks like some of that air is actually on the ground at the moment. Yeah, I mean, given the inherent strength of the NC Maxis in this group of death on the bio And the Vanu are making a huge push. Oh my gosh, a grenade just took out like seven other guys. Oh, yep, at the teleport room, we see that. But they have medics, they're trying to revive them. They're trying to push on A, but the Maxis just back up the shield. But the Vanu are bringing their own Maxis and they have a huge armor, a uh, huge column of Maxis. What are they doing? They're not pushing forward, are they? They're just yeah, they're... having a standoff fight. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're flanking a little bit to the side with flashers of all the guns in the world, but okay, it works. They're, Splash they're damage. forming up, it looks like. I, li I like I the sort of energy shield. Do you yeah. have like an engineer shield, and then you have two max shields, and I have a... ...past? Okay, they're slowly moving up, and I mean slowly, but the problem with attrition is I don't know if they can keep this up. Okay, I think they're they're moving in now. They're moving in now. They were forming up. That's what they, that's what they're doing. They were repairing because that first initial push that they got that they needed to repair. So that's what they were doing. They got into that shield room, repaired a bit, and now they're pushing it's forward. Interesting how they're trying to take the A point. They have completely surrounded it. There's a max. Oh my gosh! There's an NC max coming up to the stairs. He's got a couple engineers for support and a couple medics. He's got a whole support team behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those yeah, engineers. It's like a shame. You notice how the VS Maxes are actually a mixture. Some have charge and some have Zoe. They're actually using Zoe for that extra DPS. Oh, but the problem is that's a beautiful grenade by the heavy assault from the NC. He just dropped the C4 down on top of the Maxes. And then he followed that up with a rocket and just completely over took a second. Him out. Meanwhile, over at Isotech, there's been a 24 man max push from the NC to, back to try and get a resecure back on Isotech. Oh, uh, the yes, that's our intention. Well, I was yes. there, there was five minutes left on the cap of the NC have just launched a huge max crash. Completely well, wiping the VS out. Most of the VS are sitting around in galaxies just for that squad spawn solution. They're pulling a couple of Yeah, centers, we see the max now. We see the max. This I was gonna say to you, Lepers, I mean, do you wanna keep smashing your face against the bio lab which inherently favours mm -hmm. close proximity weapons? Or do you wanna let's say go to the tech plant? Both of the bases are probably the most likely candidates for being you know, swapped uh, for ownership. Personally, I think yeah. because the Vanu have this strong air force that they should take the tech plant first. If they get this tech plant down, um, 
and keep the su keep the support there. I mean, we had that initial one where they took it, they held it. Their air force just left them, and the NC were able to roll in, get some spawns in, and and they were able to take it back. Now, if the Vanu fully dedicate themselves to this, they can take this base no problem. It's really easy to defend. They're able. To, they can they can set up a defense easily. They can set up all their spawns. They have the air support. I think they could take the tech plant no problem, mm -hmm. and then come back and take it Bari later. But at the same time, they that leaves them open in other areas, right? So, oh, yeah. I don't know. Well, I was thinking, just, uh, rather than so much the air thing, and you're totally right on that element as well, oh, that's a lovely little bit of flying by the side. I'm he's actually down flying. on the side of the shield, and he's got it so that, you know the vehicle uh, shield bay areas? Mm -hmm. He's hovering down and pointing his nose up so he can actually fire in and up. That's, that's quite oh, impressive. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I've seen that. But what I was saying about the, the, the inside of the tech plant is that it's got nice, long... Um, kind of uh, inside building that's safe from air and ground bombardment so it may favor the Vanu forces more with their Orions and their weapon rays they don't have to they're not as susceptible to shotguns as what I'm trying to get at yeah for sure I think that How that it would definitely be better for them and it, like I said it's just an easier base to defend in that sense and attack right because right. there's so many ways to enter this base that they could totally take this and the NC don't have a huge force here well I mean they have a huge force here but they're not like super set up for defense but if they do decide to do that they really need to hunker down we haven't seen the the Vanu really hunker down they've been on the offensive pretty much the the entire fight yeah and so uh, just to answer your question there's 24 minutes left in the fight and it looks like the numbers from Anvari have just left uh, the VS are defending Anvari barracks so they're about to they're try and take it back although it's still flipping Having a look there, must be just on call, 24 minutes left in the fight. This could be an interesting move if the NC do get Freya geothermal. They're gonna be able to get those gal drops onto Freya. If they can get those gal drops onto at least two points, that guarantees them two solid internal spawns. Well, there's just been a large secure uh, defensive force uh, of Vanu that has just saved Anvari Barracks. Um, they still have their galaxies. Freya geothermal is under contention. We'll go over there now. It's a nice bit of defense. This a lot of smoke for the NC, there's also one, six engineer turrets uh, set up, we've got heavies crouching next to them. tons of Vanu on the outside. It's just smoke you over here, you're going to need NIRB. Wow, okay, I, see, I love that engineer turret smoked. line. It's the same outfit again, WMNC. They are relying heavily on engineer turrets. They don't have as many maxes. It could be a resources thing why they're, why they're having to rely on so many engineer turrets. I tell you what, if you have grenade bandolier and you have anti-vehicle grenades as a heavy, you will clean up here because they're all in fixed locations mm -hmm. and it will destroy them. Yeah, and the NC are just setting up defense at ISA. And they, I mean, I don't I don't know what's going to happen. I'm wondering what the venue is. Oh, there's a... Oh, it's because Bob reincarnate. Bob's back. He's <laughs> killed off the entire lower turret line by himself. The light assault. Wow, he's still alive. He's on the capture point. Is he still? I can't see him. Don't tell me you're dead, Bob. He, oh, he just cleaned out the entire south oh. by himself. They weren't paying attention. They all got oh, knifed and, and the shot. Able to cap it. No way. At the absolute last <laughs> second. Benny, we're making a massive rush for the building, though. Geothermal's now in it is indeed, we're at geothermal and it's the points flipping back. It doesn't look like they were yeah, able to capitalize and get anybody on the Freya ramp on the point. Uh, so yeah. now you've got four minutes to get back from the spawn room and take back the base. But there is swarming air outside. Tons of air. They they were trying to get there as fast as they could because they were they were actually at ice attack, so they had to make their way all the way up there. And they're already pulling maxes and infantry at the um, spawn building, and they've got to try and get some flak. It's WMNC again, mm -hmm. and they want to defend this base. But if the air's smart and they don't, I mean, they can suppress them with rocket pods. But if they're smart and they don't get themselves killed off, I don't see how they're going to make it to the capture point because it's a long run. There's no tunnels. There's no like clear cover. And yeah, and they have that. And Vanu have a ton of air just waiting for them too. And then the thing is, they've also got infantry. It's, oh, that's dumb. I mean, giving cheap deaths. That's another cheap death. I mean, they're just recklessly losing their sights at the moment. There's so much flak in the air lock on. They are pulling some lightnings, which is interesting. Um, Anti-vehicle and uh, Skyguard. So they're using the V-pad, this is the NC. And they've got maxes at the point. And they are actually beginning to push out. The air has left. I don't know if it's been killed all off or if they're being called somewhere else. And they're pushing on the capture point. Two minutes, 40 to go. And it, it doesn't look to me like the NC... 
that sorry that the Venu is going to have enough people here to defend this, especially with a max crash coming in on them. Well, we're we're watching um, lots of particle smoke. NC forces pushing on the staircase. There's some uh, VS Maxes above, but oh, that would be painful. So that's one VS Max down. Light salts jumping up, throwing grenades, running around, jumping in, shotgunning. All right. So they were able to secure and Bari barracks, and they have a huge amount of guys. I want to send them. So yep, it looks like they're going to keep sending them at the and Bari biolab. So they're going to keep putting the pressure on there. Oh, this is actually quite interesting. I didn't realize this. Reinforcements from the Vandy were actually coming in from the top door after Freya Gear of and they've finally been overrun, but they were holding out for a really long time. Way more than we thought they would. And that's because of the reinforcements. So WMNC again has saved this base. They need, they need those gals. Ready to now they're pushing on the... Uh... Fly over. They need to get a point on Freya. They need to start something. Well, we've got 19 minutes left. I think they're going to try and get rid of the sun spawn sunders for the uh, Vanu first. Yeah, that's a good move for them. Oh, they've they need got to a get sky guard the, in the rear. The spawn. I don't know what he's going to do against a, a double repair sun. <laughs> that's not going to work very uh, well. Sorry, Unless he's charging with, um... Is he vehicle grenades? He's got one, he's got two, he's got three, he's going for the shot! He killed himself! Why did he take two steps back in there? Oh, well, fair <laughs> enough, uh, never mind. He, he, got he the did thunder, it. Right? They got the thunder, right? They got the thunder, that's all that matters. <laughs> Second one's running off. Is max push on Alpha, huge amount of infantry on Bravo. Oh, we're heading there. The Thunder is trying to escape. You've got a 60 oh, 40 fight. completely blown up. Uh, so do you think yeah, WNC, fight. right? Are they gonna? They've defended the base. So are they gonna redeploy again and come here? They're gonna pull in extra reinforcements? Because I see what you mean. There's a lot of maxes by the VS. This looks like not the last push, but it definitely looks like uh, the best one yet. Although they only have one capture point. There's just too many maxes, they can't actually cap alpha. And it's, it's, I tell you what, this is degraded into max and C4 wars. That's all it is, is here's some, here's some parcels, <laughs> take some C4. Jeez, oh, wow! And the the VS should win that because of and just throwing C4 off the balcony and triggering it and getting mad kills. I think it's time to put on your flak armor, guys, if you haven't already done so. Three minutes left, they get two more points of living. NC is trying, uh, Woodman's trying to bring in some more tanks as well to Frere. But <laughs> they have this giant wall between them. I guess the important the factor in the Envira Biolab is that when they're fighting and there's tons of Max and Max and lots of C4, it was brutal. But the most important factor is that the VS held their ground and they took the territory, and that meant that they could raise their Maxes. And that's huge because it means that the other guys are on timer or on resource lockout. You know what? Far this entire time, every time they're attacking the biolab, they continue to attack the biolab from one direction. You're right. Yeah. Um, yeah. The thing is, they've got all the free capture points, and it's 90 seconds. It is Ooh, 90 and here comes the big seconds. Max crash. I think they're gonna. Oh right my right? god! Look at the right? number of dead. They're throwing the light assaults on the roof. It's Bob again. Bob is back on the roof. It's the same guy. Oh, he's just got killed off. But the fact is, they were throwing C4 down on the ground. Look at the number of dead NC Maxes they've just released, they've just given up. That's a beautiful, just multiple C4 that killed off the entire push. And now the Vanu are flanking at the SU Gen. The SU Gen they've got protected even though the generator isn't vulnerable for another 20 seconds. But the fact they is the base minute, is 60 though. seconds. They have a minute, they can hold this. What, how, what's our cast time on, on, on our, what's the rest of the time for our... The whole match? thing is 16 minutes and 40 seconds and this is going to go in less than 60 seconds. The SU generator is vulnerable in 4 seconds and they have the SU generator ready. They got people at the shields, they're licking the shields ready to go in, it doesn't chase like candy. But they're just ready oh to go Oh my gosh, in. but they're losing A at the same time. But they're uh, trying to, which, all that matters that, is that suppressing the spawn, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. And they're charging it now, but the problem is this is this is what 60 seconds for the SU generator. Yeah, they need more defense over here. I see some rock or some grenades going yeah, back. But they're getting Charlie two, back. They've got Alpha tons back. Of maxes. 50 seconds. 50 seconds for the base cap. 50 seconds for the SEU gen blow up. Uh, you know, it's 40 like 40 seconds. Oh my gosh. The, the Oh my gosh, if you are the max. To chat, people are just screaming. They're like, get there, go defend it. It's insane right now. <laughs> oh, oh man, there's so many light assaults and Max is just absolutely seconds. charging. 
Okay, but the thing is, even if all right, they, it looks like they're oh trying to get gosh, us. Oh my gosh, NC's gonna reach the So the many huge, maxes. Huge force. Oh my goodness. Yes, but, but there's so many explosives going off. Alright, tell me when it's 15 minutes. Okay, 15 seconds. The, the SU generator has been repaired, but there's still VS forces inside. There's explosives going off everywhere. I think it's friendly for. Okay, the SU is now being saved. Two capture points are on NC. If we look at the population numbers, I think every NC just came here. 55 to 45. It was enough to fend them off. I think the only point left for the uh, VS now is Alpha Capture Point. That was close. I mean, that was close. I don't think Vanu should have gone for the SU Generator. I think they should have tried to suppress the spawn room. Because at the end of the day, the cap time would have been the same. Um, but they... They it's, it's, needed to resecure this. If they would have lost this point, it would have been. They, there's no way they could have gotten it back. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the NC, but I meant the Vanu should not have gone yeah. for the SU, is what I meant. I think the Vanu, although it was a tempting target, use it as an opportunity target, like mm -hmm. I said, one guy, but actually surround the spawn room, because it's, it's a new spawn room. It's not like the old biolabs where it had a massive mm -hmm. building. It's a small room. You can surround it on all flanks and then just keep them pinned in. And that's what I'm really thinking that they should have tried. They lost a lot of their defense. It got just too chaotic for them. They were running yeah. all over the place. They had no defense on any of their points. They were just they were just rushing their faces at the NC and the NC oh, were like, oh, we're just gonna keep that. shooting. Got ten minutes and fifteen minutes. Uh fourteen minutes and fifteen seconds, my apologies. Meanwhile they still they're they're still trying to secure a geothermal plant as well. They had geothermal for all of 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, there was just. The NC was sitting around on tanks waiting to be back in lightning, sunderers, those infantry on the it's outside a big around the base. Moving to the freighter and one BS infiltrator. minutes left. Taking into consideration it's a seven minute uh, capture for certain bases. Uh, we're reaching the point still, where... We should still be okay. If, if they can move... If they, ISIS as safe. Soon as, as, if they can pin them in Anvari, we have... As long as the VS can finish these, uh, one of the caps through for two minutes on ice and mining, if it doesn't get interrupted... Oh, oh, oh. I know what they're doing. I know what they're doing already. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I'm doing? super freaking excited. Okay, so they're pulling all their guys back to Infari Barracks. They're pulling all of them back. They're gonna they're going to make a massive push for Ice Attack Plant. That is what they're doing. Oh, this is gonna be the beautiful. NC aren't gonna have the resources for the maxes because they've just burnt them in that push. Though saying that, the NC could reply back with the push on Freya amp station. We've now got two 20, uh, 12 24s, uh, 50 50 over at Freya amp. They've just gained adjacency and they already have people ready on a cap point. If well, this they is can it. get them across, the ice attack plant is still got a minute and it's low numbers. It's 50 50 and 1 to 12 at ISA mining, so that can go either way before the tech plant becomes vulnerable. Right now, uh, it's actually the NC that seems to be having the slight advantage. The, the, the Bio lab, they're just not going to lose it. They've shown time and again that they can just mega defend it when they need to. Giant ball of death going from cap point to cap point. Freya Amp, however, does the VS still have Air Force to defend it? No, they don't. I mean, they have Air Force, but they're not. They're not sending their Air Force to the base. And right now, um, they're doing their best to hold the walls with a heavy assault and just bombarding any tanks that come in the way because. Um, NC has been continually trying to bring in shield diffuser Sundays. Now they brought in a second one. They're bringing in a third. They have four. I have five. Do they have any more falling out? Five. Is this a Freya? They have five. Yeah. Six. They have six Sunders that they're trying to get into the base. Um, but they're they're going to be met with a huge heavy assault column of just people with rockets just waiting for them to come through the gate, which is funny. Um, they were able to get some spawn beacons down, and they are kind of getting some infantry in here, trying to clear out these heavy assaults that are holding up the There's bridge walls. There's some scythes, but they are getting flanked. They are doing some bombing runs near between A and B. 
We see, yeah, we see the NC force of WNC again pushing up on A point now. Um, having a little kind of infantry firefight over the A point. A lot of grenades and explosives going off. Nice. Really smart position. of them to think quickly, get the guys out of the Sunders, place those squad beacons as, as fast as possible and get these guys dropping in. And they're able to contest the A point. I think they're gonna I think they're gonna get this. Yep. Now this bait I mean this point's gonna be really hard to hold because it is out in the open. Especially if Vanny bring yeah, in the yeah. air. And the thing is, what's going on at Charlie? Is that going for or against the NC? Yeah, ten minutes and ten seconds. Uh Fierce. ten minutes and ten seconds from No. But yeah, ISA mining is gonna be flipping shortly. Yep, yeah, it's again the VS bring a lot of area, but they don't get bodies on one point. They've only just got bodies on a point. In the yeah, they got Charlie. They just took Charlie again. There's um, lands on our call. Ten minutes left till map end. I don't um, think. VS see, this is the thing. Because of the Anvira Biolab, because pressure is now in Frey Ramp, I think the fight's going to now move to Frey Ramp. It doesn't. No. There's oh, a lot yep, though. They're, they're, they're moving. Mining. They're moving their air column over to Frey. They're right now. They're moving all their air to Frey right now. They have some about sky guards th th some... three galaxies, a huge amount of sites. I can't even count. <laughs> We've now got VS inside. The Vice Attack wait for that 20 second cat coming into the mine well. 60 30 over there. They're and... just bombarding the infantry here at Prayer. Yeah, and the. Oh the, the, my the, gosh, the, they are not going to survive. I don't see how this can last for more than five minutes. I mean, it's a good attempt by the NC, but it's just so much air by. The, there's so much the air. Is, Go ahead. Go ahead. The thing is that the the, the Vanu know that they don't have it. They have time, right? They can do whatever they want. So they're just sending their guys here, and then they're gonna rush back to Isa Tech Plant. They're just buying themselves time. Right now, they're moving back. to Isa Tech there's Plant. They just got Isa Mining Operation. One, two, okay. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine maxes all being sent through the terminal. They're trying to crash. The yeah, it looks back. like they've just saved the tech plant. Uh, sorry, the um, freighter ramp. So we're flying off the tech plant now. I was just saying, Maggie, there were so many airplanes that it doesn't matter mm -hmm. where I was putting my camera. The sites were bumping my observer camera all over the place. <laughs> That's the best. Right. All right, Vanu's okay. on the A point. They're holding it. There's a max crew with a oh, couple they've engines. immediately responded in the balcony. Aren't yeah, they? immediately trying to respond to this. They're, they're trying to take the high ground, which is a really smart move for them. Uh, what F is this? It is WMNC. Vanny doesn't have that many soldiers here, so they're gonna be they're not going to be able to really hold this for that long until they bring the rest of their forces Oh, you know in. what? I've just made a stunning revelation, and I apologize okay. for this. What's that? WMNC actually, is yeah. Woodman yeah. NC. <laughs> it's not actually an F. <laughs> oh, Durr. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't realize that. <laughs> I thought, wow, that outfit's like really that good. They're, you know, they're great. everywhere. Yeah, I didn't really know what you were talking about because I'm like, they're everywhere. So I've never, I didn't see it, them not be somewhere. Uh, so the NC were able to resecure this. They're holding on to it. They're setting up their defenses right now. They know the Vanu are coming for. There's a Vanu infiltrator hiding. Oh my God, you can't what? see him. On the capture He's right here. How he feels. He's right on the capture point. He's right by the Vanu infiltrator. He's just chilling. He hasn't moved. He's been here forever. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm watching. I'm looking paranoid. Where's that infiltrator? Where's <laughs> that infiltrator? It has to be a shimmer. So if you're looking at your your screen, you have yep. the, the point. He's yep. on the right-hand side up on top of the catwalk. On, on top of the little... Kind of wall points? Yeah, like the little wall points. He's on the little wall point by the A point. He's sitting right next to the other guy. Oh my gosh, the guy doesn't even see you. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm waiting for the rest See of the See the motion crew. sensor? He's, Look, he's not even killing the motion sensor! He's I standing know, right, right next to a VS motion sensor! <laughs> so Moo the Shadow know exactly Wolf! exactly what's going on here. They know the defense. This guy's giving them all kinds of calls. He's like, they got this here, they got these guys here. They're gonna be able to do an intense attack because they know exactly where these guys are. This is gonna be awesome. I can't wait for this. Where are the Vanu troops? The galaxy had talked Okay, they're putting down squad beacons. I'm seeing some squad beacons being dropped. The number of they, fi Freyr, there's a lot of numbers at Freyr still securing Freyr. And the, the fight at Anvari Bialov has totally dropped off, which means the barracks and the frozen reservoir are both being secured. We only have six and a half minutes left in this fight. I don't think, the, no, I think there's not enough time to get to the capture point and flip the base, unfortunately. Although, yeah, no, there is an overtime rule, however. If they would have moved quickly like they were supposed to, it would have been great. What, this, but it looks like they got really distracted at Frere Amp Station, and they've kind of dedicated too many people over there. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, um, on t I say that they're not enough time, but it's actually due to the overtime rules, um, if they get to this capture point and take it in the next six minutes, which is our timer, right, 
it will the, the match continues until either they take the base or the defenders grab the capture back point back just once. So there is that potential to go a little bit longer. But it doesn't look like it. So you've got six minutes to either All start right. the cap on the Biolab at Anvari, <laughs> start the cap at Freya Amp Station, or start the cap at Isotech oh, They Hunt. found him! They found him! Oh, I'm sorry, they found him. Oh, he no! Okay. He moved a little bit, because oh, the guy bumped into him. There's a moment <laughs> when I had to look at the map. <sighs> yep, I know, I feel guilty. I looked at the map as well. I'm really sorry, guys, but we can only assume he was there because we never saw him. They're part of it more... What is Bob doing over here? He's really going for that capture point. What is he? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess Vanu decided to not go for Isa. I'm really sad about that because I don't think they realized that. So what? Let they let these guys have these little bases. Let them have the geothermal plant. Who cares? Why are you yeah. dedicating so many guys to this? You have like how many? Point time left on the map. Why don't you just? Why didn't they go for the ice attack plan? I'm so confused. Well, they need to dictate the terms of the fight because right now the NC is dictating the fight at their base. That being free yeah. ramp, right? They need to dictate yeah. that we want to fight. You know, at this place now because oh, and they're losing iron mining. You're right. So the the, the, the tech mm -hmm. plant is perfectly safe. So now if you're NC, okay, they're losing southern camps, so, but no, they've got huge numbers. They're going to save that. If you're NC, send everyone now to ISA mining operation, you know, that isn't defending, you know, the Enviro Biolab, or that isn't attacking yeah. the ramp. Yeah, I think that was a good move for them. They sent a bunch of their guys over there. They're trying to defend right now at Geothermal Plant as well. Uh, they don't have a huge crew over there, but, um, yeah. I definitely think that was a good move by the NC, for sure. Well, and the time? The time is now 4 minutes and 5 seconds. Oh, man. I can't... I Uh, I don't see the VS numbers. Um, I I don't know why they've responded to Anvari Barracks and Anvari Frozen Reservoir. Maybe they just want to make the Anvari Biolab the last push, the last fight. You know, but the thing is, there's, I... there's VS numbers, I'm sorry, there's NC numbers at Freyr. It could be that Freyr is the one that actually comes under contention. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Has Freyr only got a single capture point? I think my mini map's bugged because it says I'm at LA Amp Station. Is it the mission system has not updated? Oh, you're yeah, you're looking at the, the mission system. It's weird. You have to look down at the bottom, not the top. The mission. Yeah, bottom left hand corner. Bottom the left, not the top, because that's, that's your mission. I know it's weird. Actually, it's used. It's only showing me one capture point, even though um, there are multiple. Ha! I'll fly away and come back. Oh, weird. You, you you're probably right with the mission system. No, that's weird. Never mind. We'll just warp around on the minimap. Yeah, so NC is able to... Um, they got some spawn beacons down. They, they're they trying to take the high ground on top of these buildings at Frere. Yeah, or at... Um, yeah. Cool. At Frere. Yeah, my minimap's not updating, so I apologize for the minimap. But yes, yeah, so we are looking at it, and they do have like, one of the capture points. No, I'm getting that bug too. Interesting. So, uh, I um, can't they have tell. two of. Oh, wait, the Vanu are throwing in nades, all kinds of things, and trying to get these guys out of this building. At the... <laughs> this, is, this is really funny. The long building? Yeah. I don't know how else to I'm, call I'm it. I'm looking at what I think, <laughs> I think is Charlie or Bravo. It's, it's definitely not Alpha. Uh, the yeah. NC are dead, and they've just been cut off by the. That's a lot of uh, mm -hmm. VS surrounding that building. <laughs> well, they threw in. VS. Oh my gosh, look at all the smoke! Oh my god! There's also a VS trying to force a scythe into Manny, into middle of Manny Biolab, sitting there repairing, and there goes his scythe with an NC heavy to shot. NC, oh, place. big NC VS max push coming in uh, from the on one side. It's hard to tell what's going on. That's not a door. This is a door. So what? what's going to happen with this 3-3 then? Why don't you run us through that? Because I think that's what's pretty much... I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to take this in time. Well, we we follow European rules of sport, which means when it's a draw, right. it's a draw. <laughs> Unlike American okay. rules, where you go to overtime and play for the win. So I think that's the oh, rules that were set down by Doc. Whoa, so whoa, it would whoa. be a draw. You're the one who offered overtime the other day. Yeah, but <laughs> if it's if it's a draw, it's, it's if it ends a draw, we finish it as a draw. Um, but if a game-winning cap is involved, we will it go overtime until the cap is resolved. Kind of like soccer. 
Uh, uh, football. football. Thank you. <laughs> you have gone up 50 <laughs> points in my reputation tree for that. <laughs> okay, well, Anvari Biolab, 2-1 to one numbers for NC, they're defending that. Isotech plant is completely secure. It's not going to be under contention. The only fight that's going on right now is at Freya Amp Station. And... Uh, I can't tell if the capture points are in contention, which is going to make this a little bit harder to sell when things are going. Yeah. Especially if they get down to the time, because we can't see the timer either. Well, actually, right when we're looking at the map now, it is 35 seconds until this thing is done. If I warp around and check all the capture points. Yeah. The Vanu took, took it back, so... I think they've pretty much secured most of the so area. Like, yeah, base is secure. The, the, I mean, really there's not two. even that many NC here. The NC's population is dwindling slowly. I, mean, I think they're getting pushed back to geothermal plants, so... Just they, 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 I think they have some guys on the catwalks, but not on the points at the moment. And, uh, and, and Varia Biolab is completely safe as well. Freya so, Geothermal so, okay. has just been definitely resecured with a hot drop squad as well. Oh, so they can't, they can't and they attack. Were, and the so NC got ISO mining it. operations, so All right. the Time's up. can't. Yeah. So call it time, that's it, it's a Time's draw, up. guys. So do an all call. Lands on all. It's over. So <laughs> what we're gonna have now is all the outfit reps that were in the interviews earlier before the match, come on back to the interview channel and tell your outfits to pool gals at Esamir and your warp gates. To Please, you have a so whoever. Oh, sorry. Your warp gate. oh, sorry. We're gonna do a friendly gal battle. So, do you guys normally? You guys normally have hosts that ask the questions. I really want to make sure we ask the question of why they decided to go back and like Knock secure yourself out, Geo Maggie. and Anivari instead of going to Isotech Plant. I'm so confused. Yeah, you uh, You uh, knock yourself you out. Are... Normally, last week we had you Kid Riot, that. and he just totally laid in with questions. So, I mean, don't hold yourself back. You you lay into them and say, why did you do this and why didn't you do that? Because <laughs> I'm sure they would love to be grilled by you. Oh, I'm going to down. We're going to drag us down and then we'll um, we'll just see what's going on. They're already here. All right, so before we start, it's a draw. 3-3. Three, three. And as of right now, please tell all your people to uh, get in all the gals they can. We're going to... We're gonna do a big old fight over Essa or Isa Tech Plant here in a second while we're asking questions. This is a big old battle, gal. So last gal to survive from being rammed wins. Wait, we'll is there still a fight on Andavari? No, no, no. It's the game's over. Sorry, he's saying that the whole thing is over. The gal thing at the end is just a bit of fun. It's just a giant whale war. Exactly. That's all. It pretty much gives Tell us all your content people to pull gals. while we talk. Just waiting for the last guys to get here, so if maybe um Tyke and Why are you here, Pan? Oh okay. Um Alright, I guess most of us are here now then. So uh yeah, looks like Right. Well I know one person who has a burning desire to ask a question, so why don't you go ahead on the person and just ask uh, what you want to ask. Okay. Um so I think just because it was just most recent here. Um, initially, I heard the Vanu call. I was only really being able to see what the Vanu were doing a majority of the time and, and what your guys' strats were, but I heard a call for meet up at the barracks at Anvari, and we're going to make a push onto Isa Tech Plant, and when you guys had like 10 minutes left in the match, and I was like, oh, this is so happening, because you were you guys were taking Isa Mining Operations, and you were taking Isa Southern Camp, and, you, and the timer was like about a minute, two minutes, and then you decided instead, once you got ISA mining, you started r making your way to ISA tech plant. But then you decided to go back and secure Anvari barracks and geothermal. And I was like, what? They, they I, I just, and, uh, I wanted they, they... to know what was the reasoning behind that. And I know you guys yeah. also had an infiltrator that was sitting on ISA tech plant. So you knew exactly where they were and you could have done an insane attack on it. The, um, we, but go we, ahead. We, we hit fair on station. At, uh, when they were pushing ISA, we, we hit fair at the same time. We, we saw them go for ISA, so we counted by pushing Freya, counting on the fact that they would have to pull back from ISA, which they did. They pulled back from ISA and defended Freya, and then by the time they went from Varvi, we were already there waiting for them. So, you know, we knew what they are doing. Yeah, pretty much from my point of view, um, that's essentially what happened. We'd tried pushes on a few, like ISA before, we'd done a couple on Anvari, and they weren't going brilliantly, like we were struggling to get anything. So, um, it came to the point of, we had trouble to uh, breaking like a full big Zerg on Zerg fight, so we decided just to pull back and defend and play for a draw. 
All right, ah, listen, hmm. are are your people in the warp gate? Yeah, what's but you should. I I, I, but I, I just feel like you guys could have got it because there weren't a lot of there wasn't a lot of armor. You had an infiltrator that was sitting on the point, and he could see exactly where all the NC crews were. Like they didn't have that many people that were sitting on that point. All right, hold on. Uh, are all your people and gals? Yes. Yeah, we've got a lot in the warp gate. Okay, well then, now I'm gonna go ahead and make the all call. Alright, if you're in a gal, go ahead and head to Isa Tech Plant and just start ramming each other. Lift off and go <laughs> for it. Turn off the TS over here and watch this and fill. So please yeah, do continue. Gonna... Please continue. Oh no, I say we, we might have been able to take Ooh. it, but we'd had a lot of trouble doing the, like, breaking a big long seven minute cap. Um, Earlier at Isa, and then again three minutes at Anvari, so we kind of just decided to, to play what, it safe and go for the Can you draw. explain? What? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, you. go ahead. Go ahead. Far. Oh, okay. I was going to basically explain probably say the, the same thing. I was actually wondering about the early amp station push. That was huge. I mean, that was like the amp stations are some of the hardest bases to take. Maybe explain how you pulled that one off because you got pushed back once. Did you just say, decide, you know what, we have to take this to kind of make continuity in the map or something? Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, our general plan had always said that we were never worried about getting Ellie. Uh, we were always confident we could we'd be able to defuse in and, and get enough time off an amp station that we could hold it. One, well, yeah. Um, there's also it also comes down to like a few choke points that we were pretty confident we might be able to, to hold out yeah. and, and just you know keep a we... point. And and that's what we did. We just kind of moved around the continent, tried to create as much space around it as possible. And then whenever we got a chance to go for Ellie, we kind of saw that opening and just chucked we... everything we could out of it. We we were kind of disappointed with Li because uh, we had a platoon there, and they kept, like when you guys fell back to Li Tower, um, when you guys fell back to Li Tower, we knew what you were going to do with the gate defuse and stuff like that. But we didn't counter it, even though we told we told our platoon to counter it. They didn't counter it, and we've you know you guys did well to take Li, but we kind of feel with Li that we messed up and gave it gave it to you, really, when we didn't uh, need who, to. Who was who the was guy? Woodman's force who, commander. That was me. Who was the uh, uh, person in charge of the Eli uh, amp? Anti-gate breach is set up. Who organised that That's and who fun. set it up? For VS. Yeah, uh, for the NC originally oh, done at Eli Amp, where you had Guess five Sunderers <laughs> sitting inside, <laughs> and God knows how many AT mines. Yeah, that um, we I did the I was in charge of the Ellie push, and yeah, we we were just able to keep throwing Sunderers at you guys, and this is the one thing I've learned from live is that. If it doesn't work the first time, trying again actually works quite well, especially when you have battle buses and a lot of explosives. Yeah. Angie, can you tell your uh, Woodman guys to head over to the uh, tech plant? You're already doing it. Same thing what? with the Where Cobalt people. We're all outside the Woodman warp gate. Cobalt and people telling yeah, you guys to go. VS and I waiting at the tech plant. So, Woodman commander was A-N-G-E-H, who was the Cobalt commander? And that was me, Blackjack. Did you have, like, how did you do the air? Because I noticed it throughout the game that for once uh, the resources became not just important in terms of I can't do this, I can't do that, but they actually became strategically important because Freyr got cut off and then it got reconnected, then it got cut off again, and that was offering a lot of resources. And all the map you were beginning to take control. So it looked to me as if the NC were beginning to struggle with, you know, pulling vehicles and aircraft, but they still had some decent enough infantry resources from Axis. Yeah, that's what we kind of. By half an hour in, we were kind of seeing that we had a lot of connected territories and we'd done well at our, our main kind of goal, which was just to get control of large amounts of territory. It was a two hour alert, so we knew what resources were going to come into it in the last half an hour. So we were quite happy to sit back and play it slowly and just kind of hope that the NC were going to run out of maxes eventually, but it didn't really happen. Hey, whoever's in charge of Cobalt, all your people are still just sitting there. Your gal. <laughs> I'll, I'll have another shout. It's going on outside the NC warp gate. Yep, NC warp gate. Anyway, um, so yeah, it was it was interesting with the resources thing. I, I find that really you know fascinating with the whole, you know, because you've mixed the territory up. Because last time we had this big uh, fight on the SMR, it turned into this very very nice kind of battle line, splitting the continent almost perfectly in half. And the main contention was on the Isotech plant. But here, how did you guys like? lead or control like where did you decide where to go because there was essentially four areas to fight over uh, um we, we we basically had a we, we, we had a plan at the start uh, one second so I, need, I need to mute the team i'll do vanos first then we'll answer that um essentially we, our, 
our plan was we'd never thought we would get to um, Manny Bar Lab in time with it being so close to the wall gate, so we just gave up on that. Um, we send some of our best squads wanting to see over to not in the hope that they just thrown at them, hopefully yeah. be fast enough to flip not substation, which they did. Yeah. And then we split the rest of our force between Anvari and Freya, um, yeah. hoping that one, if not both of them, would go go through. Um, yeah. And we pretty much abandoned Manny and Ellie for the first yeah. half now. Yeah, I mean, from our point of view, our opening plan was to, to take Manny, which we did, and they, they didn't defend it, which we, we didn't think they would. Uh, we were able to hold Envari at the same time, and we tried to put push in Freya, but our main objective was to get Isa, and we you know, we, we managed to block them off at, at Octagon, and we managed to get cap it un, uncontested, more or less, for the most part. Um, the you know, we, we messed that up. We shouldn't have lost that. One of two leaders kind of got it wrong, which uh, and let Cobalt get on the point, and they did well to take it, but we feel disappointed that, you know, that we kind of gave them the amp station rather than them taking it off us. We feel we gave it away, you know. Another so, thing I noticed I think was... Um... Go ahead, sorry. I think it's his former uh, Cobalt loyalties. <laughs> Keep it true. Uh -huh. No, no, no. I, I wasn't I was platoon leader. I, I, was, I wasn't platoon leader <laughs> there. Um, but no, uh, we, we kept, we, you know, our plan worked. Um, we held a Valve, you know, a lot of times you guys pushed massively, you know, we had SU down a couple of times as well, but we, sure. you know, we, managed, we managed to save it really well. I guess you know. one of the other mandatory questions is, we've got a few more, is um, how did you guys feel about the implants? Did you have them on? Did you have your infantry try them? Was there anything like that? You get any feedback from your guys about that? Um, yeah, my guys had them on, to be honest. We literally, you don't notice them. Literally, the only thing you notice is the occasional pop-up that you ha that you struggle to get rid of, and then the weird Gladly. popping noise with a logo that came up on screen. That happened to me a lot on the, the stream, yeah. The um, regeneration implant was the only one that we really felt was actually that useful, because you you didn't it cut our reliance on medics for just staying up and meant we could save our med packs. But, yeah, I, I don't think they're going to have much of an effect, really, on the game. Just how they At work. least we haven't had the ones yet, because there's there's some that I thought might be interesting, like the ones that reduce your thermal signature, so you can fire smoke and not be seen with uh, night vision scopes for infantry. I thought that was kind of powerful, but mm. I, I didn't see that as an implant yet. I guess, uh, well, that's that's one question. If you've got feedback, there's going to be, I think Dots says there's going to be a thread, so and there's any bugs or whatnot, give the devs a bit. My other burning question was, um, we were looking at the map, and it was 4-2 in favour of, uh, I think it was Woodman, the NC at the point. And then LA Amp Station was under heavy contention. And Isa Tech Plant was under heavy contention. And then the VS, you know, they, they, they lost the LA Amp Station hack. And then they came back, and then you, you attacked again. And you were on the verge of getting it. And then you got it. And then the Isa Tech Plant it had like a minute and 20 seconds to go. You had air domination for a long time. What happened? How, how did you lose the Tech Plant? You know, that was your really close attempt there. What happened there? I'll, um, quote, my be I'll quote my best friend um, in, you know, in, uh, in Woodman. Tanks don't capture points, you know. I mean, like, <laughs> they, they, they don't. Like, you know, you know they, 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 we knew they had air dominance. And to be honest, we always knew that Cobalt was going to have air dominance because they got better pilots. And this is our first go at air squad as well. So we weren't really as coordinated as we should have been. But, you know, we knew they were on air. But that's like guys in the air that aren't on the point. So we figured if we go, went through tunnels and crashed the point, you know, those liberators sat there uselessly shelling the point when they couldn't actually get there, you know. Mm. So. Yeah, we, we, I, look, I was um, since you spent two hours looking at the map and, and the, the time difference was always going to give him that. I think there was a minute between us taking Ellie and the ISO one going through. And in that minute, you know, I we called over to our platoon leader just to you know, get everyone as fast as they could over to reinforce ISA. But we have to, you know, go ship up into Gals and, and get size and beacons up over there. And the uh, the NC have got their deployments ready. I think the SC was still up by that point. So they just, uh, you know, you saw the NC uh, the NC population spike up from, you know, like an even. 50-50 to something like 75-80%. You know, as soon sure, as yeah. fell, they only had one place to go. And yeah. we, we knew it was going to happen. We tried to get there as everyone as fast as we could, you know, rush over there, but it, it, the time isn't enough. Like, they were on the ball and, and rushed really quickly and uh, kind of, we kept the fight going for a good 10-15 minutes after that, I think, and managed to keep the SCU down for a while. Um, but yeah, we... we we never we actually didn't think that taking the fourth one would be as big a problem as it was. Um, with yeah. the amount of territory we hold, we we always figured the uh, the the resources would end at some point, and yeah. we'd be able to to crash into something and take it towards the end. Yeah, I mean, from our from our point of view, like we we figured in holding money, and we figured and we figured we get ice as well and ally, which would be our three, like our, our three because like farm station is a nightmare to to take really and defend. You know, so we thought well, if we get if we get money, we can hold Navari, get get Isa, 
and if we can hold an ally as well, like if you know, or even like lose and vive ally, you know, that, that gives us three, gives us a draw, and then it gives us the option of um going for Freya and Navari. We lost Snowshare, which is a bit of a fuck up on our part as well, really. So so swearing, but we lost Snowshare. <laughs> Which was a bit of a mess up on our part, really, because if we hadn't lost Snowshare, we could have basically made sure you never got near Mvavi again, mm. basically. And if you know, I, you know, we look, you know, we could have pulled guys from Ally to save, but we didn't. But if we if we saved Snowshare, then basically Mvavi would have been safe, and we could have put a lot of pressure on Fair near the end, rather than having to like kind of hop out and defend everywhere near the end. But you know, you know, how stuff was happens. um, how was the server stability for you guys today? Like the um, fight stability. I, 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 yeah, I, I didn't crash once in the two hours of looking at the map, so I the map the is very question. stable. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Only time I disconnected is when like my the... internet provider failed. <clears throat> I felt like it was more laggy than... when Thinking back to the match against Therus, as well as Conway, I didn't have that much problem with yeah, seeing people warping through walls and stuff. This happened this time quite a lot. They were lagging around and people started straving that because they are kind of using the, the ping that was everything lagging around. Not as much more than, than the previous matches. I don't know if they changed anything, but I... just how it felt. Right, right so we'll, um, unless uh, Maggie or anyone else has some final questions or final statements, I think we're going to pass it to Alleluia and Lanza to end this. Um, I could ask about... questions for days. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we should probably uh, move on. But thank you guys. Uh, it was great watching the battle. Yeah, basically, last night on FNO, I said to. One of the guys in the Twitch stream, uh, the Watcher, that I would bestow the Lord of Goats onto someone. I have no idea what it means. So, hallelujah, I bestow on you Lord of Goats. See, the Watcher, I did it. I'm gonna... You better sit while I open because I have no idea what that means. I have no idea either, but some guy on Twitch stream said that I had to do it, so I did it. Well, then on that note. <laughs> yes. And also uh, a big thank, you for... the... thank you for Bonanza. coming to Play Service Man. Uh, we're going to give a shout out to the Fun Police, which were your local sheriffs. That was Furious, Shackle, Shepherd, Crazy Nub, Jessica, Layerless, Radlock, Redlant Bastard, and Red Z. They were your your friendly sheriffs that kept out all the trolls. And great job to Laperza and Far for casting. That was awesome. And Alleluia and Dotsor. All okay, the. So- just head admins to, there. Just to wrap this up as well, guys, as always, follow any cast. They're our main. We're still using them, so they got to do something right. Um, follow us on Twitter, which is ps2 underscore pickup, uh, for all information. Uh, we've also now got a subreddit up, which is slash our server smash. Uh, that's got all the details in. It's got all the details for your reps as well, if you want to get involved. Um, I think that's the majority of it. Pick up. Um, and yeah. There's a pick up in the next five minutes. Um, I'll post the um, team speak details in the chat. It's a, basically everyone's invited. It's a public thing. What it's going to be is come on this team speak, and we'll put you into a random mixed team, and we'll play, you know, maybe some PAL style rule sets or maybe some conclass rule sets if there's enough, enough people so you know if you're interested in this kind of thing then you know pop into RTS and just come to the uh, correct channel uh, we're going to be starting that in the next 5-10 minutes um, alright just as that's I have the one end of first poking. match thanks for coming one sec I've got good, someone good, poking bubble. me about next week um, next week guys we're actually doing something different we're running King of the Hill oh. uh, match set up over oh. the central centre part is this um, pickup been... or server smash? No, for server smash. Wow, this would be interesting. Um, and it is going to be over the middle with the ascent and its surrounding bases. That's oh, Cork God. Central and Raven. Haha, <laughs> Skull Bleep Mountain. So this would be interesting. It's branded on Miller, Skull of Mountain. Yeah, yeah. You can put your own word in there. Um, so it should be an interesting fight with okay. two decent servers doing well, it as um, well. So. Yep, we're going to end this now. Then. So guys, thanks for turning up. Thanks to um, Woodman and um, Cobalt? Yes. Yes. Shows. Right. Thank you for Woodman and Cobalt for turning up and playing. Um, and we will see you guys uh, next week um, for our uh, follow-up match, which will be in the post screen telling you all the times and when it's happening. All right, guys. Cheers.